Hey Riverwood, you know, we've been talking about body life and one of the things that I pointed out was that um, our body life is not just for us, it's for a mission. And uh, I was reading through John chapter 16 again and uh, boy, that really hit home. You know, Jesus said some pretty remarkable things, but this is one of the things that he said. He told his disciples, um, but very truly I tell you, it is for your good that I am going away. And unless I go away, the advocate will not come to you. But if I go, I will send him to you. Now, that's pretty cool. We know we have the presence of the Holy Spirit within us. And Jesus is saying that's actually better than being with him face to face. But catch what he says next. This is neat. When he comes, he will prove the world to be in the wrong about sin and righteousness and judgment and about sin because people do not believe in me. Do you see the first thing that he says, the reason why it's good that the spirit comes is that it's going to prove the world wrong. In other words, it's going to make the mission that we have on earth to reconcile lives to the obedience of Christ. It's going to make that mission easier. You see the whole idea of the presence of the Holy Spirit isn't just for us. It's cool that it, it is, but we have a mission. We have a mission to reach our lost world. And, uh, and the presence of the Holy Spirit in the world is actually going to help that. So I think that's kind of cool. I wanted to share that with you this morning and also just encourage you to, to be with us this coming Sunday as we dive in in our last uh, exploration of the one another's. We're going to talk about building one another up and um, I think you'll enjoy it. I'm looking forward to sharing it with you and see you Sunday.